here in this paper we will be discussing about uh, what is gender what is sex what are the biological basis of sex what is the social contribution of developing a gender of a person how these biological factors and the sociological factor influence in developing a gender identity of a person and how in between the education can play a role in development of a gender identity as well as respecting their identity and nurturing them to be a productive member of a society so these three interactions will be in all the unit of discussion in this paper that is the biological factor sociological factor and the role of education so these three things we will be discussing here but uh, before uh, coming to the discussion and seeing the role of education in development of a gender identity first we must understand the uh, what is sex and what is gender these two things are supposed to be understood how a sex of a person is determined how a gender of a person is determined these are the two terms broadly speaking uh, uh, mentioned when we talk about the english dictionary however when we uh, talk about the hindi dictionary I, I, and i don't have any idea about the uh, oriya dictionary so i will be not talking you may uh, say better than me in hindi there is a no distinct word for the sex and a gender there is a no distinct word there is only one word that is a ling which determines both uh, the sex of a person as well as the gender of a person so broadly speaking when we talk about uh, sex is a it is a biological perspective which determines a person is a male or a female it is determined on the basis of a biological factors based upon their body based upon uh, the uh, reproductive system that a person is having based upon that we determine a person is a male or a person is female however when we talk about the gender it is a role assigned by the society to a person is termed as a gender that's why when we talk about the gender it is a social construct for sake of example uh, when we talk about the differences based upon the sex and a gender for sake of example when we talk about a uh, difference between male and a female like that uh, bearing a baby or giving birth of a baby this is a difference between male and female but this is not difference based upon the societal norms based upon the societal practices this is the difference based upon the biological nature of a male and a female because a male cannot give a birth of a baby so that is based upon the biological differences but similarly when we talk about that men will be going outside the house for earning livelihood for earning money for running the family and women should stay at home to take care of the household work this difference is not based upon a biological difference of a person this is based upon the sociological difference this is the sociological construct 
and very surprisingly i, I always used to give this example uh, once upon a, i was taking one training session of high school teachers secondary school teachers and i have told that uh, draw a figure of a farmer figure of a soldier figure of a doctor and uh, uh, figure of a engineer and figure of a person who used to help in our day to day household work some of them told that uh, they are not very good in uh, drawing so they can you know, I, i told no drawing uh, perfectly is a not a matter just you draw free hand drawing the way you can draw and surprisingly uh, most of the farmer that was drawn by a teacher were male engineer were male soldiers were male when it come to a doctor it was some male some female when it was a person who uh, support us in our day to day household work it was a female so these differences when we talk about these are not based upon the biological difference of a person rather than it is a socially constructed norm it is based upon the societal norms not on the basis of a biological norms because either men or a women both can be a farmer both can be a soldier isn't it both can do the household household work so these type of a differences when we talk so it is based upon the societal norms it is not the biological norms similarly uh, i will tell uh, that uh, when a uh, new child take birth in a family hana huh? a child has taken birth in a family so first we try to see that whether the child is male or a female and based upon the child uh, sex that is the biologically determined we choose clothes we choose toy we choose appropriate word we choose the way of parenting yes parenting also differs the way we are parenting a male child is a different from a female child the way we interact the way we talk the way we address the way we provide opportunity to a child it is a different and that is not a determined by a biological difference of a child rather than it is a socially constructed norms which plays a role here not the uh, biological difference play a role here and very uh, uh, one another example i will uh, uh, like to quote i was uh, while preparing for uh, this class i was reading uh, some research article isn't it so in that article it was uh, argued and established uh, that how we act when we see a male child and a female child it is i am talking about the newborn baby okay so generally we associate uh, pink color that is we say that it is a girlish color the girl prefer like that color most and when we talk about the blue it is uh, the male color hai na so um, in that article it was argued that uh, uh, one uh, baby took up uh, birth and then the uh, child was uh, wrapped in a pink cloth and uh, the child was given to some of the family friends and those who have visited to see uh, the child that this is the female child okay then they took the child with so much of a care like that it is uh uh, uh the uh, female child cannot uh, you can uh, say that uh, they cannot uh, 
sustain when they will be uh, taken hard and uh, the way they were talking to the child the they we they were playing to the child it was a different and the same child when they have been given to the different set of uh, uh, visitors and they have popped the same child in a blue cloth and they have told that this is a male child they have entirely uh, reacted differently because we have a different conception about male and a female in the society we have a different norms about male and a female in the society so that's why they have acted differently so that's why when we talk about the sex it is a determined by the biology it is a biologically determined but when we talk about the gender it is not a biologically determined even even the differences that we see in and around our society it is also not based upon the biologically differences rather than it is the sociological differences sociological thought the way we treat a male and a female child that is that uh is it uh, clear up to here then we can proceed further or if you have an, any question yes sir yes sir it is clear yes sir yeah okay then uh the question comes that uh, okay so sex is a biological construct whereas the gender is the uh, sociological construct okay very good then how the sex of a person is determined that is the one question and then there is a another question that uh, how and why some people are a transgender their sexual orientation is different some are uh all gender someone is a bi gender someone is a transgender isn't it so how and why it is all those things before that uh, one more thing i will like to add here that uh, when we talk about the gender then the gender is determined by the gender roles and gender role is nothing but it is a set of uh, norms by the family or uh, by the society but, and all those things by which the person construct a self concept as a female male or a combination of both sometime when we talk about the gender role it is a person's self concept that whether the person treat themselves as a male or a female or neither or both we will see in which case all those things comes and always gender identity is determined by the gender role which is influenced by the family family norms the society societal norms and the practices and interaction with the environment family and society sometime it is also by the media isn't it so these things determines that what kind of a environment a person is having in and around when the person is growing from a childhood to the adolescent and these things determine the gender roles and which prepares the gender identity of a person because we treat male and a female child differently so it comes in a practice and uh, uh, now come to the point how a sex of a person is determined we know that uh, when a uh, uh, child take birth 
okay so since the birth of a child we have a 23 pairs of a chromosomes means there is a total 46 chromosomes we have and out of the 46 chromosomes 23 comes from the father and 23 comes from the mother this father and mother contributes to a total chromosomes of a 46 that is a 23 chromosomes however when child is conceived inside the mother's womb since the conception when the chromosomes comes together when the jagot is uh, made when the egg of a female and the, the sperm of a male combines and it become a fertile so these 23 pairs of a chromosomes comes out of the 23 pairs of a chromosomes 22 pair of a chromosome is identical identical means it is x x pair means it will be binary means it will be two that is a pair so 22 pair is x and x when it comes the determination of a sex of a person it is the 23rd pair of a chromosome when it is the 23rd one is x and x then the child will be female when the 23rd pair is a combination of one x and one y then it will be a female and we know that uh, in a chromosomes chromosomes contains the genetic structure and the genetic information from the parents chromosome contains the gene gene where in the genetic information are encoded which when the child develops inside the mother's womb they decide that whether the child will be male or a female but uh, when we talk about when the child is developing inside the womb, uh, mother's womb up to the one month or better to say that uh, uh, 7 to 12 week okay <clears throat> that much time takes to determine the sex of a fetus sex of uh, the child which is going to take birth before that the sex of uh, that uh, child is not decided and as per after the 12 week the sex uh, reproductive uh, organs get developed <coughs> start developing and these are supported by the hormones because if the child is a female then the 23rd pair will be xx when the child is a male then the 23rd pair will be x and y so that is uh, decided by the uh, the chromosomes and within the chromosomes there are the gene and this gene contains the uh, information 